All right, so let's take a look how to use this Tinder swipe match for the Vinci Resolve. So once you download this template, it will get the zip file. Now just unzip the zip file and you will get this folder over here. Now, if you open up this folder, you'll find the subfolders inside it. Now, all you just need to do, you need to install this .tra file into the Vinci Resolve software, so which I will show you in a moment. But before that, there is an important step which you have to install the font. So copy and paste this font link to your browser, download and install it. If you don't install the font, the template might not work properly. You can change the font later, but first you have to install it. Okay, now let's see how to install the .dre file. So for that, open up the Vinci Resolve. Make sure that your Vinci Resolve is 18 or above, below version will not work. And then just um, come over here to this home section. And in here, just right click on any blank space and click on this restore project archive. Don't click on this import project, click on this restore project archive. Then just navigate to your download folder, open up that and select the .dre file and click open. So once you do that, it will be installed over here, as you can see. You just double click on that and that template will be open okay now you can just scrub through over here and see the animations something like that now here in this master bin panel you can see all of these folders like this edit comps here you can find all of these image compositions and text and color compositions and this is the final and this is the assets which you can ignore okay now let's see how to change this media so if you just go to this image placeholders you will find one profile picture so if you just double click on that and you can replace your media over here so i'm just going to create a new folder over here I've imported two images over here so in the profile picture I'm just gonna drag and drop this man's picture I'm just gonna make this one something like that just leave the background image as it is don't delete it and just close this one now if I just scrub through as you can see it's uh, showing over here but the problem is the facing cutting off so what you can do you can just go inside this scene one so for that go to this text and color and double click on the scene one and here you can select this scene one and from the inspector tab you can control all of the settings okay so at the top we'll find this profile picture position and scale so i'm just going to scale this up over here and position it down something like that then you can just go to this next scene scene two and here you will find all of these user images over here so you can just double click on them like so and change the images and i'm just going to zoom this up a bit go to the next image and i'm going to drag and drop another one and if we just close, everything should be updated. Now, as you can see, there's a blue uh, line over here. That's because it's already cached some media. That's why it's not displaying the images. So just go to playback, delete render cache all. Now it will catch again and will display you the actual images. Now, as you can see, it will display them. So in the same step, uh, you have to add all of the images and the last images will be so if I just add another image over here, like so, and if I just go back, you will see the last image, which is this one. And after that, it will match automatically with your profile picture. So that's basically it, how you can adjust this profile pictures. Okay, now let's see how to change the text. So let's suppose I want to go to this scene two, And in here, I'm going to select this one. And from this inspector tab, I can change everything. So at first, you will find this image position and scale. So where you can change the position and scale from here. And then you can change the text over here, like so. You can change the font color, etc. Then the text description. After that, you can move to the image two. So if I just scrub through a little bit, this is the image two. Again, you can change the position scale, text, description. So in the same step, you can find all of the seven image, user image, and text placeholders over here. So you can see this is the person seven text, person seven image, position scale, description, and that's it. After that, there's a, it's a match text. So if I just go to the end, we'll find the it's a match and the description. So here it is, the description, send a message, and you can also adjust uh, this profile picture images size and position. And after that, you will find the background color, header color, logo color, everything. Everything you see over here, all of the color will be, can be changed from this bottom section. In the same way, you can change everything, every color and placeholders for all of these three different scenes. So once you've done editing, you just go to this deliver, name it, choose your destination folder, choose your format, add to render queue and start render.